All right, let me explain why you need two putters in your bag. If you look at the best players in the world, and uh, if you look at their statistics, and I'll put that at the end of the video, you will see that you have a big, big difference between who is in uh, position of 192 versus the first one from all the following distance, from six feet, seven feet, eight feet, nine feet, and 10 feet, to be precise from those distance. Between number 192 to the first one is over, it's 40%. So that's a big, big uh, discrepancy. And this is the reason I think you need two putters in your bag. The one who is in 192 place in the world is a fantastic golfer compared to the rest of us fantastic he's a fantastic putter compared to the rest of us but compared to the first one on the pga tour in putting he's way behind and that's maybe the reason that he goes home after two rounds when you watch television you see them saying oh he pull and push his putt but pulling and pushing your putt from 30 feet 40 feet it doesn't really matter as long as you have the speed and the distance you get close to the hole and you could two putt but when you push and pull a putt from between six and 10 feet, that's where you make it or you go home on the weekends. With the GP putter, because of the face on putting, the side saddle putting stroke, when I putt, or what you'll see in the videos, is the shaft is straight up and down. That means that when we're taking back our putter, the putter is always on your target line. We never open and close the putter head. Also, when you do the follow through, the putter keeps on going straight on your target line, right? So you will be able to watch and you will see how it's going. So that's the reason I think you need two putters in your bag, right? Putting is 40% of your score. And right now you have one putter and 13 clubs for the 60%, right? When you're in a green side bunker, you don't use your driver, you use your wedge that was designed for that. Well, the GP putter was designed to be very precise. It takes a little bit of time to uh, to get used for the light putts. That's why you use two putters. Use the one, since you're a kid, you've been putting the same way, you're able to hit it the lag and it's pretty good. But when you're from uh, inside 15 feet and you pull and you push your putts, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not very good. <laughs> so if you look at the best players in the world, the one who is number one, and you're in the top 1,000 players in the world, but you are on your putting stats, you're close to the 1,000th place, <clears throat> and you're trying to beat the guy in first place with the, at his game. So you need to change the game, try something different. Don't always use the same way to beat somebody who is better at you at his game. Change the game, use two putters. Also during your round of golf, how many times you use all 14 clubs in your bag? Not too often. So maybe you could have two putters in your bag for 40% of your score. It, and then I get asked, if it's that great, how come you don't see that on the PGA Tour? Well, what you see on the PGA Tour is the people that are very, very good and they succeed. But the one who doesn't make the cut, you don't see them too often. And these guys maybe should look at a different uh, option right with two putters also the major manufacturers never made a putter for putting that way so yes the gp putter was designed for that conforms to the rule and what you see on the videos the way we putt is 100 percent legal if you have some question you could reach me at faceonputting.com and i will be more than happy to answer your questions but again, look at the stats and you will see a big difference between the one who is in 192 place versus first place. And I did that for three different seasons for the whole year. Thank you for your time.